Good morning, everybody. I am Tejraf Pokhil, a teacher of Himalaya Secondary School, Khatbari. Uh, today, I am a little late because of bad, bad weather. It is still raining outside. Uh, today, again, I would like to welcome you to Khatbari Municipality uh, uh, Education program online education program and here yesterday i talked to you about uh, reading reading part of our english curriculum there yes in the readings i told you something about reading scene text as well as the unseen text and uh, how to how also you also told you how to read the text and uh, how to answer the questions to the um, questions asked under the text under the passage uh, today i have a plan to tell you um, about the writing generally you should understand that uh, this language there are four language skills uh, listening speaking reading and writing uh, so you have already finished uh, listening speaking text in the exam in your school your school subject teacher has already taken your examinations and has also provided you marks there and that is finished here and the reading and writing which is tested in the final examinations uh, reading and uh, writing yes uh, 75 marks altogether so today's class is um, uh, writing generally um the writings um uh, is 35 full marks writing full marks 35 full marks here and the uh, writing is a uh, can be divided into two category here reading guided writing In guided writing there are two questions for uh, first question five full marks five marks and the second question full marks five marks so all together so total 10 marks uh, guided writing means guideline is given here with sufficient guidelines means you will be provided with sufficient guidelines and you should have, um, follow the guidelines and the write something here uh, word limits there is word limits uh, guided writing uh, word limit is 75 to 100 words uh, you don't try to write uh, too many uh, write too many with too many words uh, you should also consider the limits of the words here 75 to 100 words you don't go far from that means around 100 about 110 is okay there about 80 90 words is okay there but don't try to write more if you try to write and more then you will be have limited times and you will not have sufficient times to do another exercise there for free writing here so another one question is a free writing so there are two questions asked in the exam in the examination free writing the first question um, carries uh, six marks and the second question carries eight marks altogether six plus eight is equal to 14 marks so war limit the first question war limits war war limit 100 to 120 words first questions and the second question's war limit is 150 to 200 words so you don't try to write long yes very long paragraphs long passage here you should also consider the word limit here and beside this grammar is also included in writing here yes in grammar is included uh, in writing okay this um, grammar uh, yes in grammar generally there are grammar there are two types of questions in grammar the first type of question is a reproduction. Reproduction means instruction is given in the box. Yes, by reading the instructions, you have to change. If you reproduce means change the sentences is in the instruction given in the bracket. Okay, and Yes, okay, th this is uh, this is of the grammar is six, first question six marks, second question only five, so this is not yet, this is, uh, sorry, I have committed a mistake, so six plus five is equal to 11 here, uh, 
uh, this is not eight, this is five, yeah? Okay, then, the, and the second question, it is given in the grammar. The second question, there is a paragraph there. Yeah? And in the paragraph, in the, there are blanks, and there is an option there, three options, and there is also the number. And you should only, you don't have to mm, copy the paragraph. Just only now write the blank number, and the answer I will show you here after some times. Okay, and then later at the end of the lessons, I will show you how to solve the problems, grammar problems here. Okay, now uh, marking scheme generally, I will, let me tell you something about how to, how marking, how evaluation is done, how mark is allocated, how mark is provided to you here. Marking is this card, writing, marking scheme, guided writings. You see there are two types of questions in the guided writing. The first guided writing and second guided writing here. The first guided writing, the content area, uh, in the first guided writing, the content or subject matter, uh, what subject matter or content means, what is the writing about? What are you writing about? That is the content or that is the subject matter. And uh, the good subject matter, uh, content, and the number you, you provide to marks here. And uh, another one, organizations, are your ideas, how your ideas are organized in the classes, in your writing, that is the things here. And the one mark is, one mark is provided for the, your ideas, organizations, coherence of ideas, it is you. And the second question is the correctness of language. What is, how, um, how correctly you have written here? Please be considered that uh, correctness of language is only one marks here. Yeah? Correctness of language means grammar or etc. Okay, one marks. And the layout, especially in this uh, guided writing number one, you should follow the special layout here. Layout means uh, specimen, layout means format, not specimen. Layout means format. Nomuna, for example, if you write and condolence, that your writing should be, should seem like a Condolence here. If you write a oh, thank you later, your condolence should be like a thank you later. If you write a menu, if you write a menu, if you write a recipe, recipe, your writing should seem like a recipe. It is it. So altogether five marks, two, three, four, five marks. Guided writing, uh, five marks is provided in this way here. Contain subject matter two marks, organizations coherence of ideas one marks, correctness of language one marks, layout format one marks. Yeah. Okay, let's see guided writing two number. It is different generally how the guided writing two is provided, it means evaluate it, how the number marking is done from guided writing number one, guided writing number two, you see it is different here. For example, here, let's say different, contain subject matter, Guided writing two, no, only one marks is provided for subject matter and content. And the other organization scorings of ideas, the same thing like this. Guided writing one, uh, one marks, guided writing two, also the one marks here. Correctness of language, correctness of language means grammar. Guided writing number one is one mark, guided writing number two is also one mark. Okay, here the most important thing is guided writing number two. Okay, there no, you don't have to follow any layout or any format. Layout and in format is not necessary here. No marks here for layout and format here. But orthographic orthographic convention, orthographic convention means how beautifully you write handwriting. How beautiful your handwriting, a beautiful, attractive, your convincing, attractive your handwriting are. That is the things here. Okay, guided writing number one, no marks for orthographic writing. Guided writing number two, there is one marks here. Okay, creativity and originality, no marks here. Guided writing number one, there is no creativity, originality, no marks there. There is no, not any creativity here because you should follow while writing, you should follow a special format so that not any creativity or originality necessary here. But in guided writing number two, clear creativity is necessary here. Originality is necessary, and one mark is provided for your creativity 
or your originality it is in so all together guided writing number one uh, five marks guided writing number two five marks here okay now uh, now uh, let me tell you something about guided writing guided means that the guideline is given here guided writing number one question number five guided writing one questions guided writing number one is a one questions and full marks five and the word limits is 75 to 100 works. And what are the areas of guided writing? From where the guided writing question is set, from where the guided writing question is asked, it is there's the area to cover here. Areas from where the guided writing question number one is set. That these are the areas, different areas I have mentioned here. First example, giving directions. Giving direction means generally showing the way here, showing the way. But they count that carry. Giving direction. If some stranger comes to you, if stranger, if you meet a stranger on the way, he may ask you questions. Hey, hello, excuse me. Can you take the way to the bank? Or uh, he can he can also ask you where is the bank? Uh, where is the post office? Or uh, where, where is the hospital? Or uh, the where is the different thing, where is some place hospital, or where is the park, or it is here. So at the times you have to answer, go along the road, different things. Generally, uh, generally these are the phrases, these are the clauses, these are the phrases you have to use, these are the phrases we use while giving directions like this. Okay, if somebody go along the road, if somebody, if you are not go along the road, part of Sarasar Jao, Go along the route and turn left. There are maybe other ways that it is you should turn left or turn right. Go straight ahead. Take a gari jau. Go past chowbar. Go past cross the bridges or cross the bridges or go across the roads. Or it is it is across means going one from one side to another. Go until you get until you see the bank until you see the post office on your left or right. It is it. These are the, you should give directions in this way. These are the special phrases you have to use while giving instruction. This is the opposite, okay? This is means the opposite. The bank is opposite you, in front of you, or next to the bank, it is it. It is very easy here, generally giving directions. These things are um, used here. And the examinations, a map can be asked, can be, can be given there. And they should also ask questions generally. So, uh, short route, ride a short route from bank, from the National Commercial Bank to the hospital, it is it, like this. One question, yes, uh, giving directions, one area, another one giving instruction. Instruction means, generally instruction is uh, given as to us uh, how to use something, how to use. Instruction means how to use something, is, that is uh, instructions. Okay, in giving instructions, generally use, you should use a special language there. Use imperative forms of the verb. Imperative form means start from verb one, like this come, go, or use, open the box, it is a clause. These are the imperative form of the verb, for example. And the, you can use a do not, uh, uh, in negative sense, you have to don't. Or you can, this is informal language, do not, or you can use don't like this. If you want to use negative, negative, informative, negative instruction, you should use don't. Use, please, generally you should use please. You should use please, you should use please to make a request. You should use, also use please, please, request, to make request, please, very easy. You can write instruction easily. Uh, yes, also you can, sequencing is the most important thing, the first Sequencing, what do you do first? That is sequence, what do you do first, next, after that, finally. These words are used also, is also, also used in instruction words to show the steps in the process. A sequence in sequence, sequencing words like this first, second, finally, secondly, it is in words used to show the steps in the process. These are the sequencing words, sequences. For example, firstly, secondly, finally, after that, you can also use after that instead of then. You can use also after instead of after that, you can also use then. And instead of first, second, you can also use finally, you can also use and first, second, and it is it. And you have to write here instruction. 
Okay, now another one. Yes, first one is giving direction, second instruction, and third obligation and instruction. What do you mean by obligation? Obligation means the rules and regulations. Generally, obligations, obligation, rules and regulations. What you should do, what you should not do. Che garna huncha, che garna hunde na. That is the rules, the instructions, the rules. Uh, obligation instruction that there is only rules and regulation public places to follow like this e schools temple there are special rules and regulation in e schools there are special rules and regulation in temple e special rules and rules and temple rules and regulation library here rules and regulation hospital here hospital i have come here it's like hospital there is street street there bus park here so many things there are special rules and regulations you have to follow there if you don't follow the those rules and regulations you may be punished punished as some you may be punished generally how to use instruction and regulation there is special structure you should follow yeah then you should especially structure for example for plus ing is not allowed or plus ing is smoking is not allowed here smoking is not permitted here or smoking is forbidden here generally for example forbidden that is negative you are not allowed permitted a uh, forbidden is not forbidden. not not is not sorry not is not used with forbidden smoking is forbidden here smoking is forbidden means strictly forbidden if somebody smokes he is more than it giving emphasize here uh, the meaning of uh, strictly to use strictly then the meaning has been emphasized here ah uh, yes about uh, ing uh, smoking is not allowed here smoking is permitted not permitted here smoking is forbidden here smoking is strictly forbidden here is smoking is that is negative is smoking is prohibited okay not is only used with allowed permitted but not is not used forbidden not is not used with strictly forbidden not is not used with prohibited is smoking is uh is smoking is prohibited here that's correct yeah? is smoking is forbidden here for example you are in the hospital generally what is the making a noise for example hospital generally you should not make any noise so you make noise you, you are punished there so then making a noise is forbidden here making a noise is not allowed here it is here. for example you are another thing is also another way is you can you um, yes another word, you must not another is you must not smoke here different things different styles of writing here you must not smoke here or uh, you should not smoke here or uh, you should uh, stay here uh you should write your for example if you're in the library there suppose you go to the library there are special obligation instructions you should follow there you should read them and follow them you should obey them if you don't obey them then the, you may be punished there you should not in the library maybe like this you should not make a noise there or uh, you should not steal books there you should not turn tear any books there you should enroll you should write your names and address in your register there or you are not allowed to miss yes you are, to, you are not allowed to misplace any books anumati china or you should not you are not allowed to or you are allowed to you are permitted generally this this uh, while writing application instruction you should do this structure language structure it is it okay the one question can be asked from instruction to a question can be asked from obligation instruction to or a question can be asked from give directions it is here understand this one okay now obli uh, obligation and the yes, obligation instruction uh, poster generally generally in the examination you are also you a question can be asked to design a poster in the poster generally poster about poster their poster in the poster there may may be some message to convey to the local people generally posters are designed just to print to stitch on the wall so that the many people are familiar with to educate them just yes, to make them know yes to educate them to make them one here yeah. so the in the message per poster there are yes in the message uh, in the posters there is a title you should think something about what is the message about you should consider things like them you should make a picture is a title in the poster there may be there should be type picture the picture should be high resolution pictures 
very good picture, attractive picture. The pictures, especially pictures are very helpful. The pictures is means if the picture is attractive, if the picture is very clear, the readers, especially the editors will see what the picture is about. First of all, they see the picture and then they read the message there. So they know something about the picture. The poster is very, yes, very uh, one of the way of teaching, one of the way of uh, making our, the local people about something that the, you should design the poster, that poster, there's a picture, there's a label and picture should also, you should also consider about the, consider about the color there, a special color is there, attractive color here. For the, what, which color the people, local people like to see there, you should also consider these things. While designing poster, you also did, if you use some materials, you should need some materials there. If you have some materials, suppose if this question is asked, you should have a pencil or some other materials or color like this. Uh, materials are color in your uh, yes geometry box you can also use your geometry you can also take uh, geometry box with you so that if the poster is, if the question poster is asks a poster if the question is asked to design a poster in the examination then you should design a poster there with your pencil and we should also make color like this and should make this poster very attractive sometimes poster to design a poster can be asked in the examination Okay, another one is electronic test measure. What do you mean electric? electronic test measure? Generally, electronic, for example, you, of you all, most of you know what electronic SMS generally is. Yes, Sim, yes. simple message, short message system that's the SMS. Eh? SMS is sent, designed in the mobile, right? It is written in the composed in the mobile. It is sent from one mobile to another there. Okay, the what kinds, how to design the SMS? Yes, how to design is very short. And uh, it is very clear then really, and then this this question can be asked in the examination. Okay, I, if I have time, I will also tell you something about letter. For example, means SMS. Please understand that SMS means mobile message here yeah? from one mobile, mobile to one mobile, and the SMS messages are very short, and they are characters here. Yeah? The one hundred sixty characters. Yes, one hundred sixty characters. There means one hundred. Suppose if you write, if you like this, come means C O M E C O M E four characters there. That is the characters. Eh? Yes, uh, say one hundred sixty to uh, about not try try to write more than two hundred characters there. Okay, now posters generally a postcard generally you should know holiday postcards. You should also sometimes question can be asked from postcard too, and we have to design a whole postcard and the postcard especially. It's very easy to write. For example, if you write today's postcard here, what is how what is happening here outside? I am here inside, and outside it's raining, raining slowly. It's raining cats and dogs. We can see yes, raining slightly, slightly rain, and the uh, weather is uh, bad, and uh, the smoky there, and uh, there's a foggy there, and the uh, visibility is poor. Visibility, we can see the mountain. From here, okay. Then I this is today's what is happening today, and I'm teaching here, yes, in our rooms. Yes, I am expressing, I'm teaching about how to about writing here, and uh, I'm in I'm here in front of the computer here. Okay, it is uh, tomorrow. Uh, you can also write for tomorrow's program. Tomorrow's programs tomorrow is a uh, yes, yes, Saturday, yes, tomorrow is a uh, Saturday. I have planned to go to market to buy some vegetables it's etc you can also write yesterday something like yesterday what did you do yesterday you can write something some question that's in the yesterday for example yesterday i came to Kabari municipality yes i came at half uh, past seven here it took some time to make prepare everything like this so i asked after that i started presenting my lesson there and at nine uh, at nine o'clock at around nine o'clock i finished my presentations and i could that way it was that was my first first lesson and I could not do very well uh, however most of my students like this uh, have provided me a good um, good comment here in the Facebook as I'm very happy I'm very much grateful to them okay it is it this is the, the writing postcards here postcards generally postcard is a special format you should follow there so SMS everything's a special format a special layout 
this is guided that you should follow them while writing there. Okay, advertisement also is special. Okay, I have not written anything here in advertisement, thinking that I would not have enough time to present everything like this. So advertisement, advertisement also, you should also can be asked one question from advertisement to you should uh, design an advertisement and you can also have uh, advertisement or vacancy around this is called one tit here. For example, vacancy announcement, one tit, for example, uh, yeah, one yes, one any schools or organizations, yes, publish one tit here. Avasakta, Avasakta, for example, uh, Surya boarding schools, Khabari, one of the reputed boarding schools, second a teacher, primary English primary teacher, the yes, CTC. Yes, what is the qualifications, what quality necessary, experience is necessary. These things are what is, what is the remunerations, what is the facilities at the yes, pay scale, how much pay scale is this? Everything is mentioned here. And then the, how to apply there, these things are this is announced vacancy announcement here. Okay, now and formal condolence, generally another condolence, a formal condolence can be asked in the examination here. How to write is formal condolence, especially here. A for condolence can be, I, I wrote here formal condolence. Sometimes condolence can be formal and can be informal. Generally, you should understand the difference between what formal condolence is, what a formal and what an informal or parcel is. Understand these things here. Yeah? Formal means a message of condolence which is published in the newspaper. Understand here? Yeah? A message of condolence which is published, which is written for the published in the newspaper, that is message of condolence, that is a formal message of condolence. Here. If you write a condolence, if you write the condolence in the letter form and send the letter to your to your friends, to the bereaved family, I will tell you what bereaved family is, that is informal or that is a personal message of condolence. That's the personal letter of condolence, okay? But here I have written, I have composed a formal, I have composed a formal message of condolence. Okay, this message, this message is published. This message is published. Okay, I have taken from this message of condolence from different sources here, from a book here. That is not my own creation here. I have, yes, I have, yes, copy means I have, yes, copied from and one of the books here. I forgot the names of the book. Okay, okay let's say how to write this is, this is a formal, this is a formal uh, message, condolence, message of condolence here. Okay, at the top, let's say how to write the top generally, always try to write, I think, okay, I advise you to write it. Um, this is in like this bold face, LA, capital letters here. Yes, E A R T F E L T, heartfelt condolence, Hardik Samabedana in Nepali. Yes, E A R T F E L T, heartfelt condolence, condolence is, uh, yeah, condolence, D O L E N C. I have written here all in, written here all in capital letters. This is bold face, especially to make. To yes, capital letters, I wrote this one to grab the attention, attention of the readers. So if you write in capital letters, it is sure that it will the grab the attention of the readers more. So uh, you can write, you can in the examination also try to write uh, the title, title of the message of condolence, a message of congratulations in uh, capital letters. So that it is more effective. It is more effective. It uh, is especially increase the attention of the readers, especially when the readers, when the readers, um, yes, holds the and sees the opens the newspaper. First of all, if the it is written in bold face, it is in capital letters. He goes, his eyes moves there. His eyes moves there, and then he sees, and he sees. Okay, okay. Um, thank you very much for. I I try to control my voice here. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, heartfelt condolence. This condolence. Uh, uh, while writing condolence, uh, means you should try to write the heading in 
capital letters. Their capital letters uh, increase, help to increase the attention more, increase the, it help, helps increase the attention and gains the attention or more draws the attention uh, of the readers. Okay, more, it does work more, this is more effective here. Yeah? Let's say, and then after that, write off, it must after that this photo, this is a box, I made it, I draw a tube, yes, it's for photo. You don't uh, try to compose, design, or paint a picture here. That is not necessary. But uh, however, you can make a box here. You can draw a box there, and you can write the photo there. If you know, if you are familiar, if you know that you can write the bar here in this side, you can write birth, birth, and this side you can write the death. When did he die? When was he born? And also when did he die? Date of birth and death of pass away is also mentioned. If it is there in the examination, it is there in the questions. If it is not in the question, that's not necessary here. Okay, layer. Okay, special. This is a layout. This is special format. Hard fill condolence format here. Okay, then special. So beside this, you should also consider the language here. What kinds of language is used in the condolence? Okay, this is very easy to write if you are familiar the words and the phrases to use, which are commonly used in the language, commonly used in condolence here. Okay, let's see here. We are, let's write, we are, or I am, or generally, if you, we are deeply, deeply grieved. In place of grief, you can write chat here. Grieved, G-R-I-E-V-E-D. Maybe, spelling maybe uh, a little confusing here. If you are confusing in the spelling, G-R-I-E-V-E-D. In place of grief, you can write chat too. Yes, any chat, very easy words to use here. We are deeply grieved by the chat. Demise, but we are sad, very sad. But two words are repeated, not, not good. So you try to remember G R I E V E D, the spelling here. We are deeply grabbed, grieved by the sad, and untimely means before time. So we are deeply grieved. Please, yes, I learn these words by heart so that you can write. Otherwise, you cannot compose, you cannot compose uh, condolence there. These are the special words and phrases to use in the condolence. So untimely demise, demise means death, D-E-A-T-S, untimely demise, death, demise, death of our dear friend and one of the pointers, pointers means um, pointer means in an organization, an institution, there is somebody who gives new ideas, Maya Bicharo, that is a pointer, it's the new ideas, it he finds out some new techniques, he finds out a new strategy, remedy, how to do something. If there is a problem. If there is a problem, there is on the pointers. What there is a problem? What do the pointer do? Pointer tries to study the problem very well and tries to find out the best solution to solve the problem. That is a pointer. Pointer in the travel trade industry. Travel trade industry means then the travel, travel tourism industry, the hotel. A travel, checking, rafting, okay, there are different travel trade industries here. Okay, uh, this, uh, in the travel trade industry, Mr. Navin Lama, okay, this imaginary name here, Kalpanic name, oh, this is imaginary, this is not a real here, just give an specimen, is a, give a specimen, give a model, okay, model, I have written here, this is an imaginary name here, in the how, in the how do means, I friend of the travel and industries in the Nikon air crash, aircraft gas while traveling in the Nikon aircraft crash, plane crash, Durgatana, Hawaii Durgatana, plane crash, aircraft crash while traveling, while when traveling from Pokhara to Kathmandu on Sunday. It's, this, this is also imaginary here. Huh? This is also not real. Just to give an example here, uh, when, what, when did this happen? When did the plane crash occur? 
This is the date. You should also write the date here. You should write the name of the person here. We are like this up. Okay, like this. Uh, yes, date here. Yeah. Okay, from Cartman. We express the name. We are deeply grieved these things. We express, ex this is also important things. Yeah. We express our heartfelt condolence to the Birip family. Birip means the families who are mourning, shokle, bestawaika, weeping, crying, yes, praying to God, especially who are to the Birip family, shokakul parivar, so mourning family. Yes, to the Pshar family, or Birip Shokul condolence to the Birip family and pray. Pray means, pray means you pray. Pray to the Almighty, Almighty, Almighty means God. You can write God, I plead for the, why do you pray to God for the in eternal peace, eternal, eternal peace of the departed soul. Yes, departed soul, especially you can write in heaven here. Eternal peace for the departed soul in heaven. Let us say, okay. Okay, who published this? Who is the published? Who published this? Yes. Cut message of condolence. You can write the company. You can write the organization who published this one. It is, is mentioned here. Okay, this is an example of condolence. I explained you condolence. A special language uh, which is used in condolence. That's it. Any question you can ask. Okay, message of congratulations. Mass congress is also like this here, but the language is different here. But I will show you in my next lessons if I have time there. Okay, menus, how to write menus, especially generally I think you know menus. If you go to a restaurant or if you go to a hotel, for example, menus is a menu is here on the table. You read the menu and after in the menu, you yes, order some food to eat, for example, chapati or uh, yes, parutha uh, and chow mein. For example, the menu's name is given there as well as the price is there. Eh? Chow mein or black tea. Okay, different things, a black coffee, but what, what, how much does a black coffee cost, how much of tea cost, for example, different kinds of noodles or different kinds of momo, yes, different kinds of things, yes, uh, different other kinds of drinks like the soft drinks, yeah, Coca-Cola, okay, these things are mentioned here in the menus. It means in the examination, sometimes a question can be asked to design a menu too. So, okay, this is another one, the recipe. Recipe means generally recipe means an instructions how to prepare food. Okay, I have, I will also go, I will also tell you something about later. Okay, recipe, there, yeah, recipe, menus, mess of congrats, recipe. Okay, this is guided line question, the guided writing, question number one, the area of the questions, which can be, it means anyone, the, your questions, uh, option, guided writing, one question number one is set from any one of these areas here. And what, what are the areas there? Yes, congratulations, message, congratulations, menu, recipe, instruction, okay, let's see here. It's another days are the electronic text message, postcard, posters, designing posters, designing advertisement, or it is here, obligation, instruction, yeah, obligation, giving instruction, and, and direction, it is here, one question, four question. Huh? Okay, next question is guided writing number two. Guided writing number two, one question, it is also the same marks, five marks, word limit, is the same thing here, 75 to 100 words. So then you should don't try to write more in, in more words. Don't try to express, explain so much. Just also consider the word limit and uh, your writing should be within the word limits. Oh, don't, don't mind the 10 words or one, 10, 10 words, 15 words, more, uh, one, 10 words, maybe, Yes, five, ten words uh, below is not uh, is not uh, like you know, don't mind. If uh, the examiner will doesn't mind, checker doesn't mind those them. But if you write more here, means you may lose your time. So you may not have enough time to ask yes, to solve other questions here. Okay, now in, in interpretation generally, what what are the area? What are the area? The second question, guided writing is set here. First example, interpretation of charts, graphs, tables, list, picture. If interpretation of charts, graphs, table, list, picture, that is also 
special language you should use here. But I have not done this one here because I have limited time here. I think that I will not have done because I have I will prepare another lesson to yes to for this uh, yes for this another lesson yes to tell you what kinds of language structures are used in the interpretation of charts, graphs, table, list picture. But this question is asked in the examinations, frequently asked in the examination. Yes, any one question from the one, that, for example, this one. Second one, invitation letter, invitation letter here, Nimantrana Patra. I have written, I have given you one, you know, very short letter here, information letter, in, informal letter. Invitation letter, letter can be formal as well as informal too. Uh, this is an informal invitation letter specimen here. This is a specimen, in, informal invitation letter specimen, model or layout here, like, let's say. Okay, okay, there, what, how it is right there? Very easy here to write if you um, some understand, if you keep something in mind. Very easy like this. Okay, Khatbari, this is the uh, address. Khatbari, this Khatbari, this address is style. Generally, there's a, a, one style of writing, uh, address, address writing, address, we call it address, date and addressing here. First of all, you have to write the small part, a small part of address, for example, Khadbari 10. Or sometimes some people have to write 10 first, after that Khadbari, or you can write here Khadbari 10. Khadbari 10 means Khadbari municipality ward number 10. Don't write any long here. Khadbari 10, that's all. Okay, on some parts about that, the name of the district, yes, uh, name of this, not right. This is uh, written here. But if you are writing, yes, if you are writing this letter, sending the letter to foreign country, to other districts, yeah, to foreign country, then district, some question about Nepal, you should write something in detail here. For example, the district here, some question about. Okay, then after that, you have to write date. You have to comma here, you have to write a comma. After 21, there is a comma. I have to, I forgot to write comma here. Okay, you have to write comma here. Date. 24 first 21st April yes two zero yes two zero two zero twenty twenty here that is the date okay now right here dear you should also write comma here you can write comma here yeah I forgot to there is a space this is called there is you can see white space between dear and I would here okay some people like to start some people leave um, margin there but if you leave the, this is called white space here, white space here, white space is there. If you leave the white space, then you don't have to leave the margin here. Okay, let's say, so this is the modern way of writing there. If you read, if you look for you a uh, letter in your textbook also, and you can see the layout, or you can feel, you can also see such kind of, um, this is called white space there. White space here. There is also white space here. There is a white space here. Let's say here, there, oh yes, Krishna. Okay, something like some name here. This imaginary name here. You can write to whom are you writing here? I would be delighted. Let me that means happy. I would be delighted if you along generally here. This is an invitation letter here. Uh, I would be delighted if you along with your wife and children along with your wife. Not only you, but along with your wife and children could attend. I yeah, it would be and so you should use good here. I would be delighted. I would be happy. In place of delighted, you can use happy. Yes, if you are happy, maybe uh, the easy words to pronounce. Uh, delighted, happy, or you can get a P L E A S E D. That is also easy. That is also you can use please. So in place of delighted. I would be delighted if you, along with your wife and children, could attend, means could come attend, the wedding party of our daughter, means a wedding party of our daughter, Amro Shoriko Vivaku party. Wedding party of our daughter, name of the daughter is Arsana. This is imaginary name here, this is imaginary name, this is the imaginary person here, but this is the model, this is the specimen model. And you can write if you said read something. I will be delighted. I will be happy if you. It's a language structure here. If you consider the language structures, I hope I think you will be able to write a invitation letter, 
easily here easily and you will be able to get good marks in the examination here okay arsana at 11 s uh, the time here at, the, at, at 10 a.m morning time this is 10 a.m on the, the name of the date here this is the name of the date here this imaginary date here yeah sunday yes name of the day here and sunday 2nd may 2020 that is the you can also hear okay um, uh send this attend forward uh, yes okay okay then looking forward to seeing means he's looking means you can write i am looking not necessary looking forward to seeing you on the occasions on the especially you can write on the occasions here yours your sincerely are you can like your sincerely yours only right? this is informal later then yours only right here and uh, to whom who is writing this who is inviting him name of the person who is invites who, who is inviting uh, who is inviting to whom then the, who is the right oh, uh, if you can write this one on this one who is uh, writing the letter his name is mentioned here his name is means his address is here uh, don't try to write at this full address here his address is at the top here and he writes he has to write only his name or sometimes he writes and at the top he write his name and above his names he can see sign there sign signature Okay, generally you can see the structure in the for example khatbari sabkhasava in the yes a little the right side is yours this has gone a little right side this is not a straight line uh, you should try to write a straight line so that your writing your uh, letter seems beautiful seems attractive here okay that is the format you should also think something like this so you get good marks here okay this is one example of an informal letter this is an informal letter invitation letter the informal letters yes in my next lesson it's minus i will also design a formal letter letter of yes invitation letter and show you okay now regret letter okay i have no time since i have no time to yes to, uh, to design a regret letter in my next lessons i will also design it and show you here thank you letter generally thanksgiving letter is very easy i think but i don't have to teach you because thank you very much for providing me or even the for example you can write here it is also not so difficult to write here but however i in my last lesson i will tell you something how to write paragraphs especially paragraph writing is usually you can write something here some paragraphs like this you can write any one paragraphs anything about anything for example in the, the tourism in nepal you can write even a say her and you can write one paragraph like this for example discipline you can write describe what discipline is what is the importance of discipline discipline is you can write one paragraph here yes it is our news story then the news story generally news story especially here news story is a little difficult but the hard yes, i have no time here so in my next lessons i will tell you how to i will tell you how to write a news story news story means a story news the news story is near newspaper article different things they have news story i have written here news stories but sometimes it is written newspaper article or sometimes it is written news report, news report, newspaper articles, and the news story is the same thing here. You should understand the same thing. And the news story and the, and the common story generally fable is a uh, soft fable or is the imaginary story, the news story is different here. Imaginary, please, please understand that stories and the news story is different. News story means story which is published in the newspaper here but other story is not published here so what they are different and how they are composed i will tell you in my next lesson and short skeleton story stories short skeleton stories and story is the same here short skeleton means outline is given here outline is given here and you have to read the outline very carefully and then you Try to read this to outline very carefully and understand everything, and then try to write the story there. A story means generally it, a story is you should also while writing a story, you should also consider the tense here. Which tense is used? Especially you should always use past tense, past tense. And news stories, 
Second story, once upon a time, this story starts, this story starts from, once upon a time, there was a tiger, once upon a time, there was a goat, the goat was passing through the forest, he made the tiger on the way, the tiger, sometimes especially the, made the tiger, but there was something I was happening, going on, and in the big, in the middle here, you have to use some dialect from, the tiger said to the goat, why are you walking around here, the tiger said to the goat, the inverted commas here, the quotation marks is also, to make the story lively, lively, and interesting here, yeah? lively, and you should also use some dialogue. In the, if you are using dialogue, then you should use it simple present tense. Okay, I will also tell something here in my next lesson here. Okay, why we said this free writing? Okay, uh, I finished. Uh, okay, I, I told you something about guided writing. Okay, let me tell you something about free writing. Free writing question number one. Free writing question number one. Or oh, one questions. Question number one, one questions and six marks. Question number one, one question, six marks. And then, and a word limit, 100 to 120 words. 100 to 120 words. This is free writing question number one. Yeah, one questions, full marks, six. And word limit is 100 to 120 words. Okay, okay, okay. free writing area cover. Which area covers the, the free writing? First free writing cover, you may be asked this question, you may know, you may want to know and from where this first question, the free writing is asked in the examination. Okay, let's see the first question, the dialogue with the situation given. Yes, dialogue is situation, with, it means in the, you have to compose the dialogue and the situation given there uh, without, not, um, not uh, if the, you should understand the situation and you have to compose the dialogue. Situation means, uh, in which, for example, you go to a restaurant. Suppose you means you go to a restaurant, you are the customers there, and there is the Mr. waiter there. Uh, if, you go there. if you go there, hello, excuse me there, and hello, excuse me, the right waiter says, yes, and the waiter asks you, how would you like, to, can I help you here? One exchange, one, 0 0.5 marks, very easy here. I will tell you something here later. Paragraph on personal, personal, you should also write some paragraphs on personal experience too. Paragraph personal experience, paragraph on personal experience, yeah. You have to write short stories only the, okay, in the short stories only provided either the beginning or ending or the moral. You have to, uh, you have to write a story, uh, sometimes this question is asked here, yeah? you have to write a story, um, yes, by, first of all, understand provide the either the beginning or uh, yes either the beginning or in English, what is the situation given here yeah? what is the moral given you should read the moral moral understand the moral then you should design the story write the story it is free writing here free writing here this is a free writing like dialogue free writing stories paragraph free writing here okay okay another one is views and attitudes on some current issues here what is that issue you can also write write, write something about your views and it is a current something Currently, see here nowadays the problem is this coronavirus there and the coronavirus. You can write something here. You can also tell, you can write something what you understand. Okay, you can also tell something. You can also describe how to save ourselves from coronavirus. You can also give your ideas then why, why many people are not have not been suffered by this virus in comparison to other countries around the world. You can see, you can listen to the news, radio, too many people, other places and countries, too many people have been suffering, have been suffering, and you can use the total number of death here in everywhere. But in Nepal, only few people, one few people, 15, 7 here. That is not a big number here. There's a bigger number. Maybe the government, because the government, government, and government, yes, strike, in the government lockdown, may, might have helped him uh, because of the many Nepali people's may have some immunity power to fight with the coronavirus it is that is also something that is also you can write your views to here in this question here yeah. okay free writing number two free writing number two question number eight question number eight and words limit 100 to oh sorry 100 okay what's 100 to Yes, 100 to 150 to 200. Yes, well, 100. That's not correct here. Please, I hope you will correct it. 
152, not 100, say 152, 200. Huh? I wrote here 100, that is not correct, huh? 200 here. So area is covered here for three writing. What, which area is covered here? Letter and emails like this, you have to letter, different letters, different kinds of letters are there. There are personal letters, then there are personal letters. And personal letter means a letter which is composed, a person composed the letters and are sent to another person. That's personal letter here. That's personal, personal informal is the same thing like this. You understand only, you understand personal informal is the same thing. You understand here, personal is informal. Okay, the official, that's personal letter. Okay, let's say personal letter, informal letters, personal letter, informal letter here. If you write a letter to, uh, yes, if a person writes a letter to his son, that is an informal letter. If a person, if a person write a letter to his father, or write to his brother or sister, write his parents, upper parents, write a letter to their sons and daughters, that's a first informal letter. That's called a personal informal letter or there is a personal letter. If you write in the write a job application, if you write an application for the, for the job here, if you write an application to your headmaster here, head teacher, for example, that is, if you are in office, write in uh, letters to other office here, there is an official letter, there is a formal letter, and they have a special, in the formal letter, an official letters, the language used, understand that, the language used in personal informal letter, and the language used in the official formal letter is different here. Yes, different here. You should also understand this one. Okay, I will also tell you here how to do it. Letter here. Okay. Okay, essay, descriptive. Then the another one is writing. Then you can ask to write a disc essay here. Descriptive essay. There are two types, different types of essay here. Subject matter, descriptive, you have to describe. Narrative, narrative, this event, story there. And cause and if the story will cause it, but these are the, yes, essay can be asked to write. For example, any one on top of stories in Nepal, for example, farmers in Nepal, uh, geographical conditions of Nepal here. Yes, the, yes, it is here. You can write something here. Okay, another one to, uh, like the newspaper articles, newspaper articles is given on top of newspaper article, given on top of newspaper articles, and really you have to write a newspaper article. Yes, you have to write given topic here, this article, let me see. And you can also review here, you can also, you can also ask to write a review here, film review or books review, review here. So if you want to write a review here, if you want to write a review of film here, films, or if you want to write a review of, of books, then you should have good knowledge of the films. You should have seen the films very well. You should have seen the films. You should have understood the films very well. You should also know the starring, staring stars. It means the hero, hero, and other characters there. And you should also know the message. Message are everything about the film, so that you can write the reviews here. Otherwise, it is difficult, for example. If you write, if you want to write a review, books review here, you should really, you should have read the books very well. You should have read, you should have much knowledge about the books about the books, uh, for example, who composed, who wrote the books, and who, who yeah, and the, the writers means you should wrote the books, you should familiar, you should know more about the writers. Yes, who wrote the books, what is the message in the books, for example, who are the, if this books is about story then, who are the characters, what kinds of role do they have. You should also write some suggestion there, what are the weakness in the books, what are the strength in the books, you have to evaluate the books. You should also give something your ideas to. Okay, it is one of the difficult questions here, but sometimes it is asked in the examination to letter, emails, essay, newspaper, or brochure. Okay, another one, the brochure leaflets are historical, cultural, religious, or tourism importance. Okay, I will tell you in your next lesson. The brochure, brochure, sometimes you are asked to write a brochure. You can, for example, you can, for a brochure, generally you should have picture there. Brochure, maybe brochure. Yes, yeah, books are designed, books are printed, books are as a little expensive. Yes, and books are, they are designed, designed, they, and they, after that they are painted and that they are distributed. Yes, for example, so you, can, you can write design a brochure about Khadbari. Yes, Khadbari, where it is located. Okay, they can also have pictures of Khadbari here. And how, how, how you can also see some, see the picture of Khadbari 
and you also you can also write something about the surrounding area of Kadbari, tourist attraction there. You should also write something out how to how to get Kadbari. You should also tell something about the uh, uh, this Hawapani climate, weather condition of Kadbari. You should also write something about, for example, the people, local people, and their different kinds of occupations or their jobs. What do they do to the owner living there? Uh, so I can also different things is mentioned there so that if the persons who reads the Bhusha yes knows about Kanpari and he also knows about Kanpari and he also ready also to come here to visit Kanpari to stay in the hotel like this you mm. can also see the you can also stay in the hotel visit different places here okay these things a Bhusha is written Bhusha is composed to attract the especially the tourists, especially tourists means not only the foreign tourism, it pressure they are tourists, especially this is a, especially designed for tourists here, yeah? or other people who would like to visit here. Yes, okay, for example, uh, yes, and if you design a brochure and send it to different places, the people see it, study it, the people know where to stay, where to win, where to visit, where to stay and what to do the where to visit, where to stay, where are the hotels, which one of the best hotels. Okay, and uh, after that, where to stay, how far is there? And you can also describe something about the means of travel, means of travel, how to get there. It is these things are mentioned in the brochure, and which in the brochure, maybe. Brewster is made attractive here, yeah? especially uh, idea technique, especially idea. I'll tell you something later. Idea is something about the technique here, and I tell something about Brewster. I have not don't have time to discuss more design Brewster now. So now generally one question, a long answer question. Generally writing number two, question number eight, uh, uh, writing number two. These are the areas covered here: letters, emails, personal informal. I see newspaper here, uh, film, films are uh, become film review or book review or booza, booza, etc. Any one question is asked from these different areas here. Yeah, okay, now, a special question here, write a question, write, write guided writing number one. As I have some, some questions, I have mentioned some questions here, especially specimen question, number one, personal, guided writing number one, question number, question number one, one question, one question. Five marks, words limit 75 to 100 words. Write a set of instructions for, for example, let's say, okay, now write a set of instructions for preparing rice pudding. This is especially I have already told you while doing writing guided writing. Number one, you have to follow a special layout, you have to follow a special format. The special format, you don't follow the special format, then you will lose the marks. Okay, I have already told you how much marks is allocated for the format and how much marks is allocated for the other things like this. So altogether five marks. Let's say I have written a short, I write a set of instructions for preparing. This is a recipe. This question I have designed, this question from recipe here, recipe means uh, recipe instructions about preparing some food here. Okay, write a set of instructions, write us in a prepared rice pudding here, rice pudding. Write a set of prepared instructions for preparing rice pudding. Kiri bath, kiri. Rice pudding means kiri. Okay, how to prepare rice pudding here? This is just a model, just a specimen, a model I have written here. How to, okay, this is the title here, how to prepare rice pudding. This is the title, Sirsak, how to write, a, how to prepare rice pudding, how to prepare rice pudding here. Okay, first of all, what things, what ingredients, what materials are necessary to prepare the food? Make a list of those things. Make a list of those things. For example, list of ingredients. I-N-G-R-E-D-I-E-N-T. -E -E ingredients means uh, materials. Yeah, materials. What materials are necessary? Uh, so make a list of ingredients here. List of ingredients here. For example, number one, okay, one cupful of rice, one cupful of rice, and the number B, some butter, butter, noun Q, 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 butter, butter means Q, 
um, three milk of yes, three liters of milk, thin cup, sorry, thin liter milk, three milk milks, a half sugar of half cup of sugar, sugar, some raisins, raisins, kismis ke mansa raisins is raisins, kismis ne bhi kismi ne paari hai. Okay, some cashew nuts, cashew, cashew nuts, some cardamom here, some cardamom, some coconut, these things are here. Cashew nut, raisins, cashew nuts, cardamom, kotamom, coconut, these things are used to make the rice pudding taste better. Uh, for example, like the how to do it is the uh, instruction, yes, instruction direction, instruction direction to prepare the rice pudding here. What do you do first? First one, take one couple of, I have written here. Yes, I, I have started the sentences here. Let's say take, fry, boil, put, stir, egg. Huh? It's a bit, okay, one, eight, one, yes, okay. These are all, almost, let's say here, the standard structure I have designed, uh, yes, I have written here in all, uh, yes, um, B1, E1, means Bob1, Bob1, imperative sentence we say here. Take one cupful of rice, eight cups of Tamil level. Mix some butter with it. Mix some mix miso. Fry, fry butter. Fry the rice for a while. Fry the rice for a while. Boil three liters of milk in a separate pot. Boil umala. Boil three liters of milk in a separate pot. Put the rice. Put in half of the milk. Yes. Put in half. Put the rice. Put the put the rice in half of the milk and cook it. Other. Put the rice in half of the other dudma, chamal rakhara paka ure. Stir, stir it chalao. Stir the rice several times. Okay, next one, let's say next one. Add the, add, add the, add the rest of the milk. Baki dud misao from time to time. Okay, baki means misao de jau. When the rice is soft, paksa, soft naram. Uh, it is ready. Rice is ready. Paksa, tayar bharu. Now put on now put one half cup of one a uh, half sorry one now put one uh sorry i had i forgot to write uh, here now put one a uh, half cup of sugar in it and a uh, cup chili misao and another one a also a to eat yes ma misao joda some raisins some cashew nuts nuts and some coconuts and cardamom to rice pudding taste better. Rice pudding better. No, here taste is mentioned here. Rice pudding taste better, not better. Here. Rice pudding better. I forgot to write taste here. Oh, okay. I hope you will add there. Uh, rice pudding taste. T A S T E taste better. Now rice pudding is ready. Rice pudding is ready. Fire fire. Takes it takes one hour to prepare all this. It takes one hour, a ghanta lago. Finally, Antima Kegara, shop it in a small bowl, San Kotsurama, Botukana. Finally, shop it in a small bowl and put a clean spoon on the top of it. San, clean spoon, Sapa, Samza, on the top of it and have it. Have it means eat it, enjoy having it. This is a, uh, uh, this is a, uh, uh, instruction for preparing rice pudding. This is a recipe here. As I let's see, yes, I solved the recipe. Yes, this questions here. Okay, question number uh, question number six. Write a little bit story. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, another one. Question number this is another one. This is guided writing number two here. Guided writing number two. Number six means guided writing number. Five means guided writing number five question. Six means guided writing number six. I write a readable story with the help of the following the outline given in the box and suitable title and moral to here. Yeah? This question can be asked here. Yes, only sometimes this question is can be asked here. Generally, how to do this one? How to mm, how to solve this question here? Write a readable story with the help of the following outline. This is the outline there. Yeah? This outline here. In the box and you should read the outlines very carefully and understand everything given in the outline and then you should then you should think something about you should write you should start uh, 
sir email id okay okay in the next lesson okay thank you <laughs> okay okay then um, okay then um, writing here okay you should read the text you should read the outline very carefully and try to understand everything there and then you should start yes developing the story there developing the story there okay um, okay then uh, i will okay this is uh, my time so nine this is nine o'clock here today a little, i was a little late but i have uh, however i have to stop it okay then i have so many things to present here i hope to present more in my next lesson uh next lessons uh, okay thank you very much for listening to me uh, listening to me uh, i am very much worried that my presentations uh, might not be clear to you uh, might not be yes might not be pretty much easy to understand for you i am sorry that i will try to develop it i will try to control my voice and try to speak very slowly in my next lessons yesterday i was i did so many mistakes here i have uh, today i hope i think today i have improved so much here okay and the next in the, in the coming days in the coming days i will improve some more and uh, i will help you yes to solve the coming questions in the in your coming yes examination okay it is raining here i hope all of you are at home here i would like to wish you to have I would like to wish you all of you to have a nice day. Nice day. Thank you once again. I would like to thank you again for listening to me, and uh, okay, listening to me, and and also I have also some okay uh, okay some comment is also here. Comment is one body. Somebody has told me, uh, sir, email writing. Okay, then I will write here. I will design it. Uh, okay, in my next lessons, uh, thank you very much for comment, Mr. Sandeep. Mr. Sandeep, in my next lesson, I will also design a uh, design uh, email and and design an email email, and she will show you how to design it. Other comments is here. Uh, any other? Please, tea slowly. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Rajiv Sresta. Uh, advised me to see slowly here. I was very sorry that I did. A little far, a little far, but yes, a little fast here. Okay, in my from now on, I will try to control my voice and try to teach you very slowly here. Other comments is here. Other comments is here. Arsana, I mean, okay, okay, Arsana, other things. Here. Okay, thank you very much for all the comments that you have done here. Okay, <laughs> collectively, I would like to thank you. I am very grateful to you for coming here, for suggestion here. Okay, then I once again I would like to have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye.